Today is the 13th anniversary of when Hurricane Katrina slammed into the coast and up into the region. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel. And I'm Mark Edwards. Thanks for watching Twin States News. One local agency is reflecting on how their tactics have changed since the powerful hurricane hit back in 2005. Twin States reporter Emily Erickson tells us more in our top story tonight. Katrina <clears throat> sort of put us all on hold. During that time, uh, there was trees down there where it had a lot of structural damage. People were sort of just blocked in for a while. Well, today marks 13 years that Hurricane Katrina hit. The Lauderdale County Emergency Management Agency is reflecting on what Katrina taught them and how things have changed. Training has changed a lot since Katrina. Uh, probably back in those days, you know, an agency would train just within their self. Now, agencies train together. Fire department trains with the police department. Police department trains with emergency management. Uh, so we do interagency training. We do county to county training. We do statewide training. We do state to state training. Spears says before Katrina, most businesses, emergency services buildings, and even one hospital in the Meridian area did not have backup generators. He says they also now have learned that everyone needs more than a week's worth of supplies in order to survive. You should always be prepared for it's a hurricane or tornado or thunderstorm. You know, at any time we could be without power for a week again. So it's always good to be prepared, have your flashlights, your batteries, your medications, some cash on hand, uh, non-perishable food on hand. With the blended training that occurs now, Spears says they know what each agency is capable of and what supplies area counties have. He says being protected from hurricanes should be treated like tornadoes in the sense of getting to a low area away from windows. Reporting at Lima, Emily Erickson, Twin States News. For more information about hurricane preparedness, you can visit Mississippi's emergency management website at msema.org.